Yes, my beautiful people, what's going on? Back again, you don't know the boy Yardman is, is here. You don't know Sunday morning, I mean, yesterday lunchtime, 3 o'clock was <laughs> a, a day to remember at the Emirate. I mean, we will remember these days for years to come. We remember these days. But you know what I want to, I, I want to speak about, yeah? A lot of people has been inboxing me saying that I was negative and you know the team this and the team come back I was supposed to talk about the three points that we gain and the fight and the spirit in the team but people don't forget that I'm the one who always advocated for for especially this season when I always say listen I I believe that we can win the, the, the competition yeah go out there and if we could beat the big six team then we will win the competition and i'm not going to stop saying that now we have um <clears throat> liverpool man city chelsea next to play and if we could get at least seven points from them three game i'm telling you without a doubt we will win the premier league now people saying about negativity again uh, with the game yesterday if you go back i remember back in ivory when we have the likes of vera and then Monday is their soul camera. You can remember that the 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 the, the focus has begun from they enter in the dressing room and maybe from before that, but we just can go back as that far. We remember at, at times when Vera and, and Raikin is in the tunnel, it has started right there. And that's where you see champion, that's where you see people want to win. So when I come out and I'm saying that we can't let in go the first nine seconds in a game, how is that negative? I know Mikel Arteta must say the same thing to them. You understand? We get like what, 17 to 16 corner, we haven't scored from one of them. Boom, get one corner and they score from the one corner. This is what I'm talking about when people meant to be focused if you want to win the Premier League, the Premier League is not no mean, easy feel where that's going to go out there, it's going to hand it and give it to you. You have to focus on the moment is match day. You focus on your job. You focus and try to galvanize the team. This is what I'm talking about. So when people coming about and talking about Yardman is, is, is negative, it has nothing to do with negativity. It has to be about focus. I'm the one who come out and said, listen, we can't fight for fourth place. Every season, oh, if we get fourth place, I said, no, fight for the title. If we want to do something, we have to compete for the title. And this is what we're doing now. I've never changed my tune. But what I'm saying, we cannot come out like that and give away two goals and expect to get back. Because you have, if it was like a team like Newcastle yesterday, God, God forbid, but I don't think we would have get back them three goals. Because you know Newcastle would have been shut it down. Eddie, uh, uh, it, it would have been shut down. So this is what I'm saying to people. It's not about negative. It's, a way, it's the way how we perform on the pitch. At times in game, I'm at game watching them. I'm not watching it on the telly. Very few times I watch it on the telly. Yeah? When William Saliba and Gabriel act like... They, they, they are, they are a, a, a marriage couple going through a serious divorce living in one house. That's all. They, they, don't, they don't coordinate at, 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 at times. At times, I'm not saying that they don't. But I'm saying to you, at times, the focus and the coordination is not there. And if it is not there every single game in the Premier League, we're not going to win it. And I'm not lying. You have to focus, you have to know what you're doing, you have to have your head on your body at every single time. Look at the goal that the Bruyne has scored against us um, with Man City. Because nobody, because the Bruyne was going back towards Tommy Yasu, yeah, and, and, and um, Jack Grealish was pressuring him, and nobody, um, Gabriel doesn't think to go back to the goal, and William Saliba never think to come to, to, to um, the Bruyne that would have prevent that first goal. So this is what I'm saying. We need to be organized at the back. We need to stop letting silly cheap goal if we want to win this title. Am I saying something negative here? No, this is not negative. So when people hear I'm talking, we're not talking because of talk sake. We're talking about how the team can do better. Very, 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 very weird. We're going to come back from two goals down because every single team in the Premier League is fighting for something. 
every team who's not fighting for the, the, the European League, they're fighting for Champion League, they're fighting relegation battle, they're fighting for the um, Super, what's it called, the European League Conference League. Every single team in the Premier League is fighting for something. So we're not going to go there and they're just going to roll over. We're not going to go there and they're just going to open up and let us go run through them because now they're starting to respect Arsenal. It's not like two years ago when team come there, they just open up and say, no, we go, if we play them man for man, we'll beat them. No, they're not doing that. So we have to understand where are we going with this team. People stop thinking about and being negative. It have nothing to do with negative. It have something to do with we have to galvanize at the back and be one at the back. The four at the back, we know we have Ben White, um, Gabriel, um, Gabriel Saliba and, um, and um, Zinzenko. Those four have to make sure they're in coordination at every single point in time of the game. They're covering one another. They know where they're supposed to be on the pitch without the ball. This is what champions do. So for people to come and say, oh, you're being negative. Oh, yesterday's a um, fantastic game. Look what um, um, Reese Nelson come on and do. Of course, I love that. I always say Reese Nelson should get a run a game because this guy have that electric pace in him that people were scared of. The same thing that you see in, in Gabriel Martinelli. It is in Reese Nelson. But because a run a game, you will see that. You will even see more. You understand? And this is what I always say. I never knock my player them down. But when they go out there and playing like that, we cannot accept that and accept that we're gonna we're gonna and believe that we're gonna win championship like that. We have two competitions, two very serious competitions. We have the European League and we have the Premier League to win. And I would like to win the European League and the Premier League. It's not a mean feeling, a joke thing from where I've been spending thousands of pounds going to the Emirates Stadium and watching us losing, watching us giving away three points easily, watching us have four places in our, four place in our hand and give it up so easily. Yes, Mikel Arteta come in and he win our, our, our FA Cup, but we need more because this guy get money to spend. We back him. We back Mikel Arteta, so I'm not surprised the team is doing this. People saying he's a young team, but he build this team. So we need to get result. And we cannot get result by letting in cheap goal. We cannot get result by letting in goal at the Emirates Stadium. We need clean sheet. That is not negative. That is something positive moving forward. Because if we do what I say, or the team do what I'm thinking or what I'm saying, then trust me, we, we will win this Premier League hands down. So for people to sit down and saying that, oh, you're being negative yard man, this and that. No, I'm not. I've been always saying this. I always want the best for my team because I spent up to, to go to the Emirates Stadium, £2,000 for the year. I spend that because my season ticket cost me £1,300 plus. Plus every time I go there, I buy their bloody dry burger for, for, for um, beer for, and I spend at least £20-£30 inside there. Where's when I take my kids them? Yeah, I'm spending money there. So check that. Plus, I go to away game. It's not cheap. You understand? So if I want to see my team when I'm not happy with what they're doing, you can't come and say I'm being negative. That's not negative, fam. It's not negative. You understand? We need to do better. We cannot let in two goals. We cannot try to come back at times from a goal down or two goals down. We can't. We cannot. This part of the, of, of, of the Premier League is the crunch part. This part is where we're supposed to win in 1-0, 2-0. Clean sheet and clean sheet breed confident in all around the pitch. You understand? And that's what I've been advocating for. That's what I've been asking for. So please, people, don't think I'm being negative towards Arsenal and, and towards what happened yesterday. Because what happened yesterday, it will never, ever forget. We will never forget that three pints that we get back from Bournemouth. Yeah? We'll never forget that. Brilliant with Reese Nelson, Thomas Partey. Even yesterday I was I was mourning. I was mourning because I don't see the, the, the likes of Gabriel, um, William Saliba and, and Partey gambling in the 18-yard box. They all round outside the 18-yard box. I we're putting in cross and Bournemouth just keep heading it out, clearing it. We need to gamble at time when we're done. That's all we need to do. We need to put bodies in the box at, as well. We have three big, strong, tall players. Put them in the box. And this is why I would like to see Kieran Tierney come back in at, 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 um, 
at left back and put Zinchenko in the midfield. At times we can put um, 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 Xhaka to rest because Xhaka has been playing a lot. At times we can rest um, Saka as well. They'll be playing every single game. Recently he can play on the right, he can play on the left. Why don't we use them up more? We understand, don't change a winning team. But we need to get these players who's on the bench ready. So anytime they come on, they know that, you know what, these 15 minutes I have, I have to make use of it. That's all I've been saying. You understand? So big up on yourself, people. It's not about negative. It's just about I want to see Arsenal win the Premier League, win the European League. Because you know what? Chelsea has been winning the Premier League, European League and Champion League. And it hurt me to the core to see that we are the first team to win the Premier League in London. Yeah? And we can make Chelsea be the first team to win the European League and the Champion League in London. I don't like that. So next we have like the likes of Tottenham. At any point in time, something can strike with them. We know that they are a club that don't win shit. But guess what? We can't take that for granted. We have to go out there and make sure so we win European League, Champion League, Premier League. You understand? Because right now, I would rather give up the Premier League right now and win in the European League. Because I've never won the European League before. I've won the Premier League. So for me, I would give up the... Not saying that I just I want Arsenal... No, no, no. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that I want Arsenal to lose the Premier League or I don't play good. But what I'm saying, if I have a choice right now and the, and the, the genie have to rub the side of the genie and the genie come out and say, listen, you're going to have one competition to choose. The European League or the Premier League, I would have chosen the European League. But big up on yourself, people who don't know the boy Yard Man there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube as well, you know, because when you don't know we're there, we're back on YouTube again. Back again, people. Sooner at the Fulham game, because you don't know we're there.